about this uh, infrastructure working group what does it entail and also tell us what will be uh, the likely topics on the agenda today Uh, well, Tanvi, good morning. Uh, you know, we know for the fact that Infrastructure Working Group meeting uh, deliberates on, uh, you know, the necessary uh, issues that poses challenges to the entire world. Infrastructure, as we all know it, is a very positive and a very healthy medium of investment. Uh, right now, the G20 meeting of Infrastructure Working Group that is going to be held today and tomorrow in Pune will be deliberating on the theme of, uh, you know, building cities of tomorrow's. And we've already mentioned in our our, uh, uh, you know, in our uh, uh, so, uh, source item that we've sent, uh, that building cities of tomorrow, sustainable, inclusive, and also resilient. So all these three points are going to be covered, are going to be deliberated over the next two days. So for two days, there'll be seven sessions. On the first day, there'll be three sessions where uh, financing, investment, uh, seeing infrastructure as an asset class, quality uh, uh, investment, infra in infrastructure investment, these all would be the key topics that would be discussed. Apart from that, uh, uh, once these session gets over, they will be moving, the delegates would be moving towards Pune University, which is the Savitribai Phule Pune University. They'll be doing a tree plantation, uh, and then after that, there'll be a high-level workshop on the same, uh, you know, discussing how infrastructure investments can be, uh, you know, g given a boost and all the necessary uh, issues that will be deliberated there. Apart from that, the next day, uh, okay, on the first day, there will be also a gala dinner, so, uh, you know, the delegates can do networking over that. Uh, on the second day, there will be four sessions. Also, these uh, sessions would be deliberating uh, on these key topics and also uh, we know for the fact that there are 65 uh, delegates who are there uh, in these whole uh, infrastructure working group. So member countries, guest countries, and also the organizations which would be, uh, you know, uh, playing a key role, uh, they, they are also invited here. So Asian Development Bank, uh, International Infrastructure uh, Development Bank, all these kind of uh, associations or uh, the institutions are going to be here. Uh, we also know for the fact, you know, that urbanization, because of urbanization, there are lots of challenges, not, uh, not just faced by the urban people, but also towards, this is moving towards the rural side as well. So these, uh, uh, you know, uh, delegates would be discussing on that also. The key uh, issue is over here is that all these delegates would be discussing and this is the first infrastructure working group meeting. So this will definitely set a tone uh, for the next infrastructure working group meetings to come and also it will help in shaping the agenda because, uh, uh, you know, building cities of tomorrow is a key theme, is a key point that the whole uh, the world would be discussing and also this particular meeting is co-chaired by Brazil and Australia so we will also have expert opinions expert uh, you know advice from the uh, developed country and also from uh, you know the south, uh, global south so this all in all we can say this will be a very rich source of uh, uh, discussion rich source of deliberations that would be you know carried forward uh, for the next infrastructure working group Thank you. okay shama looking at two important issues especially when it comes to financing cities or helping cities grow uh, you know, first is how to make it environmentally sustainable. Secondly, how to bring about some kind of equity when it comes to the imbalance that cities today are seeing in India. Uh, on these two lines, are there deliberations going to take place? Uh, well, yes, Anil. Uh, you know, uh, there has been a major challenge that all these infrastructure projects mainly are uh, funded by the government agencies. Uh, all across the world, the government focuses and funds these infrastructure uh, projects mainly. Now, the thrust would be on uh, the, uh, you know, institutions that are doing the finances, uh, that are doing the fundings, also on the private uh, organizations that could come forward and, uh, you know, help in doing the financing or... Uh, could, uh, you know, they could come forward and do the investment so that uh, the whole burden should not come on the government and this uh, entire uh, responsibility could be shared by various organizations, including, uh, you know, the government, including the uh, organizations that are actually majorly doing the funding all across the globe. So that is why we've mentioned earlier also that these, um, uh, you know, invited institutions are also going to be here who can actually show the way 
of how the investments can actually uh, you know start running and how people uh, how the organizations could be convinced uh, also we know for the fact that uh, infrastructure is always seen as an in rich source of investment and there, therefore in this uh, particular meeting also they would be discussing and uh, as as to how de uh, to develop uh, the infrastructure as an asset class uh, because infrastructure will give you good returns but it also has to be you know in the long term so it definitely sees uh, the the whole world sees infrastructure as a great source of investment and that is why people uh, would be urged the institutions would be urged to come forward and put money into infrastructure so that not just in the uh, you know urban areas but also in the areas where necessary public facilities are required uh, they would be uh, you know the infra the infrastructure for those facilities could be built in those places as well and that is how you could make it uh, uh, you know uh, in inclusive so that all the people all the citizens could have access to facilities and they don't have to travel to uh, you know a center a particular center and uh, that could be in you know in the urban area so that is why the the focus and the thrust is to develop public facilities the infrastructure for public facilities so that everyone can access apart from that we also know that india is leading uh, you know in the sector of digital uh, be it the uh, health uh, sector uh, ayushman bharat uh, apart from that uh, we we also know that aadhar due to aadhar everyone has got uh, you know in india has gotten a digital identity so this could also help uh, mm -hmm. you know these member countries these member institutions india could show the way india could lead the way in showing how to build digital uh, infrastructure and digital infrastructure will definitely bridge the gap uh, between all these uh, uh, you know loopholes where uh, the citizens cannot uh, access uh, the particular uh, facilities that that are necessary uh, and also uh, the whole world can see how india has been doing uh, you know in 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 terms of uh, inclusiveness inclus in terms of bringing mm -hmm. everyone in the mainstream so yes a lot could be learned uh, uh, from uh, india uh, for the entire wo entire world and also as i've mentioned that this is co-chaired by brazil and australia yes. so india also definitely okay. uh, has a lot uh, you know of opportunity to understand and how uh, the other countries work and india could also take it in their own learning okay. right shama certainly india's report card in its digital infrastructure surely is very good and remarkable and hectic deliberations will uh, go on today in pune thank you so much shama for joining us and uh, now if we are talking of pune let's tell you that how is